What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmod's World. Today we're going to be doing something that I thought I would not do this year. I want you guys to understand, Night Train Lane is the best corner in Madden 20. Like, theoretically, he's the only guy that gets Enforcer. He does a lot of weird stuff, but you have to do a lot to get him to a 99 speed. Pretty much you got to have a theme team to get that extra plus one speed. Or, um, you know, John Madden Code Sprinter plus a theme team. Or, if you already have a theme team, remember, he gets all team chems. So he can be a 99 speed on any of your teams. But for me, what happens is because we revamped our defense, it's pretty difficult for us to keep the theme team going and keep him at a 99 speed. So he has to get Rage Sold effective immediately. So Winnie the Pooh is getting dressed right now. And we're going to go ahead and take care of this guy immediately. So this is going to be our new plan. We're just going to put together a whole other defense. All right. We're just going to go every type of golden ticket that's available, bro. Like we're going to go back to our roots, man, and just not care about anything because dudes out here are running around like savages, bro, in their close flex and all kinds of weird stuff that's going on. We got to make a lot of changes, all right? So what I didn't notice in a previous game was that this dude was running around getting burnt, right, at a 98 speed. But it's kind of weird because even with the 98 speed, he still shouldn't get burnt. But again, it doesn't really matter. I saw some things I didn't like about what he was doing, and I think it's the best move to make right now. Now, understand this. Although he is the only corner to go ahead and get Enforcer, you can change with your coaching settings to make it so that everybody is on aggressive when you're tackling and all players will go after the big hits to get the fumble. So you can do that. Obviously, the risk is broken tackles, but you can make everybody on your team be a hard hitter if they have the hard hitting trait. Um, if a dude is just like very, very soft and has no hit power, uh, more than likely he will not cause a fumble. All right, I just want to go ahead and point that out as well. So we're going to be doing a couple of things. We need another corner. All right, so we're going to try to make some coins up, get some, get rid of some stuff. We're going to bring back um, a fan favorite that made you guys understand the world of the moss. Like, how many of you guys came to this channel? Like, I would, I want to say like four months ago. Uh, well, well, maybe three months ago, probably like three months ago, right? When they started the golden tickets and we went after Kel uh, Kelvin Benjamin and I showed you guys the Moss Maximum Action. If you guys follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you would have seen all kinds of Mosses going on. A lot of you guys from watching those videos said, you know what, let me go ahead and try this. And you've been Mossing people ever since. It's no greater feeling in the world, bro. When you Moss a dude and you know, like there's nothing he can do about it, bro. Like it just make it takes you, it, look, it just makes you so happy. And you go to bed like a baby, dog. Like you, you literally sleep with no care in the world. Now, for those of you guys that are still running around uh, spamming corner routes, um, and you haven't fully come to the dark side of the streak, that's on you. Because that, like, like I said, the game is filled with a lot of different things that you could complain about, but why complain about it if, you know what I'm saying, you can come out here and just moss a dude uncontrollably. Now, in certain cases, dudes will pick you off. Like, it's not a guarantee you're gonna, you're gonna moss a dude uncontrollably, but it is something that will definitely help you guys out um, if, it's, if it's something that you desire to do. You know what I'm saying? Which is why I'm giving you guys the insight into all of that. So, as we go ahead and revamp the squad right now, I want you guys to take a look at some of the things we're going to be doing. I had to get rid of some of the stuff in my binder. I don't know. Like I said, some of you guys are predicting maybe one last promo, um, you know, maybe in July. I don't know. So right now I have to plan for now. I can't worry about what EA is going to do later and, you know, is it possible that we're going to go ahead and get a promo? I can't do all that. So when you see me quick sell my, my cards right now, it's not a big deal for me because like, seriously, guys, even if they put out new cards, what cards are better than the golden tickets that most of us are using now? Uh, with the exception of that Bo Jackson, who was OP, and, um, you know, you're going to be able to see some gameplay with him later because I'm going to run into a guy uh, that's running around with him um, in a couple videos later. It, it, he's he's OP, and I don't, look, I don't know what they did. Maybe they tuned the game to make him savage for the weekend. I don't know, but that dude is a monster. But again, we're going to go back right now. We're going to put Mike Evans in the game. Now, some of you guys are probably saying, yeah, Jimai, this guy is 98 speed also. Yes, he is 98 speed, but he's 6'5 with a 99 XL. So pretty much if we're able to click on and get an animation, we're going to be able to at least swat the ball or make the ball bump us in the head or something. You know what I'm saying? Like something's going to happen that's going to help us out. The next thing we're going to go ahead and do is get Kelvin Benjamin back. A lot of you guys have been asking for him back like, yo, bro, you should have never let him go. You guys are probably right. You know what I'm saying? The dude did change the game for me, uh, made you guys realize the maximum loss action of the, of the flux capacitor. But again, at the time, his price was too high to just be on the team chilling. And we got rid of him and uh, used other players uh, in his place. But just understand, right? The way his body is built, he's like a big fat dude, but he's, you know, he's tall. But he's able to shield a lot better than like Calvin. Calvin is built more sleek and, you know, muscular uh, as opposed to this guy. He just looks wide with abilities, right? So 
that's some of the reasoning behind it because when you guys look at the fact that uh, you know with the archetypes and you're like yo G my why won't you use this guy why you won't you know use this guy um, the reasoning behind it is you can moss with anybody in the game it all depends on who you know what your opponent is doing the corner that they have you know etc etc if it's double team all that stuff right but if you want it to be easy players like this make it easy because their bodies are built big you know what I'm saying he has 99 jumping 99 spec catch 99 pick your moms up late at night he has a lot of things that's gonna help him you know to do those things which is why it was so easy for me to continuously moss dudes in triple and quadruple coverage. Now, as you go away from that, and you go to like a Randy Moss at 6'4", or you go to uh, Calvin Johnson who's 6'5", but with a slender build, it's going to be harder to kind of shield the opponents off. Um, you know, Zach Gentry, like players like that, it, it's like, it's very, very easy if you understand the concept of the movement of the corner. Uh, well, you know, how the corner is going to react to what you're doing with your receiver is what I meant to say. Because like now what people do is they realize that you really can't stop it. So now people just, you know, they zig back and forth and do weird stuff. And then sometimes they will pick it. Now, do I believe that EA has tuned the game a lot um, to kind of stop that? Yeah, because there's a lot more predetermined picks. Um, that was one of the things that made it very difficult to do it in Madden 16. Because Madden 16, when you used to click on, it was very, very limited movement. They, they pretty much made it so that you had to OBJ catch dudes. And then they made it so that there was no way that you could counteract it. So that was a major issue. Now they've given us back the freedom of being able to move our players around. That is very, very good. The problem is, right now, the, the predetermined animations, that really hurts the game. Because it forces you to have to play against EA and the opponent. You see what I'm saying? Like... Dudes will leave their play, like they'll just leave it, let the computer do it, and the computer will get an animation falling back for a pick when it doesn't make any sense. Because if you throw the ball to a big receiver and he jumps in the air, the ball should not go past him because it's, you know what I'm saying, like he's there first and he's 6'5", he's jumping in the air. But what EA does is, that if you play somebody that has no idea what they're doing, they'll allow the computer to actually pick you off. So that becomes a major issue. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to make sure you guys understand that uh, as we look forward to what we're going to be doing. So. We're going to be making some more changes uh, defensively to the squad. I got some ideas in my head uh, that I want to share with you guys, but we're going to wait to go ahead and get to that. But you guys did tell me that um, John Randall was pretty good. Now, Alan Page is a dog, and I don't know why he's playing the way he's been playing, but he's been playing like very, very wild and outrageous. And um, you guys are like, yo, G Maya, John Randall is better. So I was thinking about that. And I'm like, yo, you know what? We're going to go ahead and touch on that later. But, um, you know, right now, let's go ahead and uh, get Kelvin Benjamin up to task. You know what I'm saying? We got to figure out what's going on with him. He has to get his abilities on. We have to make sure that he's activated. And then uh, pretty much we'll get everything set up to jump into a game. So another thing that you guys were asking, does it make it uh, any different that, you know, you have three golden tickets in your starting lineup, you know, because it shows it gold where the abilities are on the side right here? There really is no difference. They just change it because it's actually a golden ticket. You don't get any boost from having three golden tickets as the guys with your abilities or anything like that. None of that is true. All right. You know, pretty much right now, it's late in the year. People are putting together the best teams possible, and you should too. And I've been very, very surprised. Over 100 comments, um, at least, that said you guys did not pull a golden ticket. I can't believe that, bro. Like, you guys should have at least pulled that bum uh, right outside linebacker guy. Like, that dude is garbage, but. It's weird, man. I guess that, you know, everybody can't do it. You know what I'm saying? But it's just weird because they pretty much was giving away, the, you know, the fan appreciation packs, part two, when they upped it. Like, so many randoms was pulling golden tickets back to back. I seen dudes pull, like, two golden tickets in one of the packs that they tweeted me. So, very, very unfortunate, guys. But, again, you were able to get a, um, a free one from playing... Uh, you know the challenges hopefully you guys did that if you really wanted one but that's crazy that a lot of you guys i couldn't believe reading through the comments like yo wow you guys really didn't get anything so um again right now it's it's very very late in the year pretty much like if you play weekend league and you have trophies i have a decent amount of trophies right there so i can always get touchdown packs and convert them into coins and kind of build my squad up that way but that's not really what i'm looking to do right now so you know we're just going to go ahead and stay focused with everything that we're doing as we go ahead and activate kelvin benjamin so we did a lot in this video night train lane is gone all right we bring in mike evans we bring in kelvin benjamin a fan favorite that really opened up everybody's eyes to the maximum moss action um 
now it's time for us to go out there and see what it's all about. Because again, the game has been tuned. It, it is a little bit more like shady with, with like the one-on-one -on -one battles. It was a lot easier three months ago than it is right now. So they definitely probably have tuned it to kind of see the way to counteract it, but we have to continue to fight. Notice that I'm gonna be putting Moss on now instead of Double Me, because I don't care anymore, bro. Like, listen, Double Me doesn't really work anyway. And if you, look, we're Moss and dudes anyway, and it's usually in double coverage, so it doesn't matter. So if you have the Double Me on, I would recommend just go to Moss, and that way you know that you have a guaranteed 55 plus, you know, yard, whatever. And it might help you late in the game if the game does go to that, uh, because all we've been doing is mossing dudes. So you should be able to get it relatively easy. Make sure that all your players have that on them. Uh, we're gonna be trying that out also instead of the double me. All right, guys. So we're gonna continue to build some, te uh, some team chemistry with some other players. Stay tuned. If you're enjoying the video, let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.